welterweight division. Your judges for this bout are Clemens Werner, Victor Wolf, and J.D. Duplessis, the president of MMA SA, Bertes Kutsia, and the referee, when the action starts, Helmi Landolsi. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, I have one question for you, and one question only. Are you ready? <laughs> Introducing your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a record of six wins and two losses. He stands 189 centimeters tall and weighs already 76.9 kilograms. Representing Coach Quad University, Johannesburg, and fighting out of Hauteng, South Africa. Give it up for Mark Frankenstein Hugh. <laughs> and his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 19 wins and five losses. He stands 170 centimeters tall and weighs already 77.4 kilograms. Representing the evil MMA and fighting out of Hampton, Tennessee. Give it up for Adam Primetime Townsend. For fighter instructions, referee Helmi Landolsi. You guys, you know the rules. Protect yourself at all times. I knew what that call was going to be. <laughs> no love in those gloves. I'm going to be honest with you, Carrick. Since Mark got into the cage, I don't think he's blinked. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't blink. Our main event. It's on. Whoa! Oh, shit oh. away. Mark Hume with the big strikes. Fires off. And on a double leg takedown. There. There's the flare you talked about. It's a beautiful double leg. But Townsend doing the right thing, trying to get his back against the cage. Townsend looking for a switch. I believe it's going to be denied. But look how Hume is elevating those legs, taking that purchase away. The legs from are now shelved. It's going to be very hard to get off the back unless there's a significant change here. Beautiful wrestling. Shades of Khabib. Oh, Townsend back up to his feet. Very impressive job. And down, tried to reverse. Beautiful technique by Townsend, but it is denied. Mark Hume just cradled him like a baby to get him to the ground there. Big cut already on the forehead of primetime Townsend. I think that was the initial elbow coming in from Mark Hume. It's crazy, but I love it when fighters forget the whole getting feeling distance, getting each other. They just run in there, throw a bomb, and in this case, it oh, worked. That cut is leaking like a badly implemented top. Should Townsend get to his feet again, that cut could be problematic. Townsend does the right thing, turns in, trying to establish an underhook. And Hume has a plan. He's going to make that cut bigger. Can't quite see where the cut is. I think it might just be in the hairline. Wherever it is, don't be surprised if there's another one in short order. Townsend doing the right thing though, has reclaimed half guard. This is one of the moments where limb length does make a difference though. Those elevators are not quite as effective if you have shorter limb length. Oh, could be in on the guillotine. Townsend manages to get his head out. No blood going into the eyes yet. There's not a huge safety consideration yet, but the referee is keeping an eye. And there's those foot stomps that we talked about earlier. Beautiful, I like that a lot. Great head pressure from Hume. It's an excellent fight. Everything that we had hoped for. Potential single leg. Two shots to the head are answered with three. Bam, bam, bam. Frankenstein's huge for the weight class. And, and Townsend, I, I don't think he'll mind me saying, is, is undersized for welterweight. I could see him potentially uh, going down to 55 or even going down to 165. Which, by the grace of God, is something Brave Combat Federation has just implemented. 
Ladies and gentlemen of the Brave Nation, get involved. Tell us what you think about this main event. Tell us what you think about this card using the hashtag BraveCF19. That pressure from Frankenstein is immense, Kerrick. The strength that Frankenstein is showing, I have to say, is shocking me. I thought there was going to be a strength disparity here. There is not. Nice short uppercut by Townsend. The Brave Nation, Townsend is 100% still in this fight. Oh, huge elbow. Oh, beautiful knee. Townsend momentarily a few times there looked like he was trying to set up the ninja choke. It's bad when Frankenstein is close to you, and it's worse when he makes a little space. Just grabbing hold of that leg, preventing Townsend from really establishing a base. But now he lets it go, may break and strike. Foot stomps are there again if he wants to return to those. Townsend defending well, trying to get those double underhooks, just lift the body of his opponent up. And Frankenstein gets the distance he wanted. Oh, just shy with a head kick. Long range of jabs from the outside. Townsend appears to be feeling the altitude already in this fight. Mouth is open. He's also lost quite a bit of blood in the opening stanza. Huge credit to him, he's stalking his opponent aggressively. Oh, just shy with a knee from Pume. Pume doing exactly what we thought he would coming into this fight. When they break, he establishes a distance and just lands the pot shots. This is not the fight I expected. I underestimated Hume's wrestling ability. I underestimated his strength. It will never happen again. We're seeing tremendous wrestling, tremendous strength from Frankenstein. Closing stands of the first round right now. Hume in the ascendancy. Oh, referee steps in to break him up. Saving for a couple more seconds, guys. You're gonna be starting again soon enough. We've got big urgency. There is nothing more terrifying than seeing a professional mixed martial artist with their face covered in blood, just shooting a big old smile right in your direction. Once again, you're looking at a man, this is a day in the office for him. He's not shaken. He's not afraid, he's not nervous. He's gonna go out this second round and force his game. Hume, calm, collected. I think he's gonna implement the same kind of game plan in the second round. I don't think this was dominant enough to be called a 10-8 round, no. but there's no question this was a 10-9. Cornermen are being ordered out of the cage in a timely fashion by the ever excellent Brave Combat Federation officials. That cage is about to close. Round two is about to start. Round two. Prime time biting at the bit to get involved. Oh. That's a beautiful step and elbow being thrown by Frankenstein. I gotta say, when Frankenstein strikes from the outside and goes for the wrestling, it's a little hard to know how to counter that. Ordinarily, if you're getting outstruck, you wrestle. If you're getting out-wrestled, you try and strike. But what if the fighter is trying to outstrike you and out-wrestle you? What's impressing me is the power that Mark Hume is able to generate from such small spaces. Incredibly powerful fighter. Townsend, 100% still in this fight. Oh, yeah. Looking to soften up those ribs. There's that inches, inches of distance, and then a brutal shot. It's bad when this man's on you, it's worse when he's a couple inches away. Townsend done well to defend the double leg there just to pull his opponent up, but Hume's back in on it. If he connects the hands There's here. There's those hands connected, but denied skillful hips from the American. Just kept his base nice and thick and wide. Short elbow again. Townsend perhaps looking for a switch. E who's gonna end up coming out on top in this scramble? Hume looks like he's about to triangle the legs just to take that base away from prime time. If he succeeds in shelving those calves, we can be pretty sure a nasty ground and pound is going to follow.
Towns then gets to a knee. Has to be careful not to give up his back. You do not want Mark Hume on your back. But Townsend, much to his credit, still trying to land strikes. Still very much in the fight, as you said, Kirk. Hume showing great strategy here. He could rear back and throw some big shots and lose position. Instead, he's trying to further that position. Could potentially roll if he has enough space. Hume could land some very telling strikes right now. Slowly creeping a hook in there. Very sneaky. He's now in a position where the opponent on bottom, if he turns away, back taken, turns forward, punched in the face, or worse, elbowed in the face. Very, very unfortunate place to be if you're on the bottom. Great fight IQ by Frankenstein. It's kind of a pick your poison situation for Hume right now. Perfectly put. We're seeing a transition here into full mount. Just landing those Brock Lesnar style hammer fists. Potentially the arm that was there momentarily for Townsend. He needs to be careful not posting straight up with that arm. Suffering that golden molten metal poured in your mouth from Game of Thrones or having Frankenstein on top of you, which is worse. I don't know, and it just got worse. He's creeping. We've got a choke threatened. It goes reverse half guard. Looking for the short choke. Thought about going palm to palm on it. Townsend doing the right thing by fighting the hands. It's not the hand around your neck that you really need to worry about. It's the hand that's connecting to it. So he's doing the right thing by going two on one on the hand. But great half guard there by Mark Hume. Reverse half guard, just completely immobilizing the hips of Townsend. Nasty back position. Mixing up threatening submissions. We may even see a twister attempt shortly. Looking for the, uh, I may be looking for the arm bar. Just creeping that arm through. World class submission here, world class submission, and it's getting closer. Goes double hooks. Could he potentially get his fifth rear naked choke submission right here in the Brave Combat Federation cage? Townsend absolutely defending valiantly, but not able to escape this position. Townsend's definitely making work for it. But there is always jeopardy there when you're in this position. I like the way Frankenstein is switching between the, the reverse half guard. Uh, There's one the of those in. new kicks that's allowed under the unified rule, new unified rules. Some states in North America haven't even implemented them. Brave Combat Federation has. And I can tell you from experience, they are short little shots, but they really hurt. As you can see by that hand coming down to defend, and round is at an end. Wonderfully dominant round by Frankenstein there. Just almost forced Townsend into doing most of the work once he got him to the ground. Many times, of course, we've seen fighters go for a submission so hard, they gas their arms out, end up losing when it doesn't work. We did not see that with Frankenstein. He applied these submissions with huge skill. He's marshalling his energy. He's gathering it. I actually think I saw him get stronger as this round went on. I really like the way Frankenstein is chaining his attacks together. He's mixing in the strikes, the level changes, the wrestling, the dominance on the ground. Very well-rounded game. He's not just chaining from one aspect of mixed martial arts to another. He's chaining within them. He's chaining his submissions, chaining his takedowns. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for this round to start. I don't know if it's going to go the distance. Prime time is always dangerous in a mixed martial arts fight. He, he needs to finish if he's going to win this fight. Prime time, completely focused. Chin up just a little bit so I can set those hands up. Beautiful level change. Oh, very nearly out on the single and completes and it. And 
big piece of Frankenstein on the way up. Frankenstein smiles. You know what that means in mixed martial arts, though. A smile means, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> That's a way of saying, yeah, bro, you got me. Tynes there, that cut has really opened up again. Whoa! Changes the level into the spinning elbow attack. South Africa and the spinning elbows. Frankenstein really starting to loosen up and have fun in there. He's popping that jab, using that length well. All six foot two of them. Oh, oh beautiful straight. Two more of those, and I don't know. But Townsend, much to his credit, just immovable, just stays in that pocket ready to throw. Townsend looks like he's measuring up for that one punch home run hit. Very bright strategy right now, given what we're very confident the score is. Frankenstein with keeping distance, measuring his opponent. Keep Denied the takedown. Keeping the hands kind of low. Could leave himself susceptible to an overhand. Oh, whew. that's a devastating kick. Ladies and gentlemen of Brave Nation, that actually can cause permanent injury to a leg. It's a devastating shot. It's one of the few techniques in mixed martial arts that actually makes me wince a little bit. Hyperextension of the knee joint. Ooh. Tried that reverse elbow, paid a price for it. I think Hume is going to try and separate right here. Adam winning that head fight, tiring his opponent out a little bit. Actually saw a front kick to the calf. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. Oh, I've seen that and it hurts. Foot stomp in the knee. Nice little combination there. This is perhaps the, the brightest patch of the fight for uh, prime time. Oh, scores the take. Oh. oh, could get Kamora. Oh, my. Almost in like a quasi. Oh. Townsend really has to go to work from this position. Townsend reverses huge credit to him. Arm didn't break, and he ends up on top. Hume with one butterfly. Townsend dives right back inside the guard of Frankenstein. Very impressed with that leg lock escape. Didn't create so much distance. Frankenstein had a chance to make it back to standing. There's potential here for a head arm triangle if he works it right. Was wise to the Kimura grip. Just slipped that arm out. Very close with that sweep attempt. Needs to be careful of uh, rubber guard of the triangle here. We could see, oh, just uses it to slip. Perhaps use some of that excess blood to just lubricate the pass. Very nearly a full pass there. Frankenstein managed to get a half guard. Got an elevator in there with his left foot. Still throwing strikes from the bottom. It's a good round for uh, Townsend, but I just don't think it's going to be enough given what happened in rounds one and two, Kirik. This is a world-class fighter, been fighting all over the world. I think you're gonna see him use this opportunity to at some point snap on as fast, as hard as he can, everything he's got from his toes to his nose, mm -hmm. some submission attempt, or maybe, maybe an elbow, elbow strike. I don't think he's gonna be content to just riding out on top in this round. He needs to posture, create a little bit of distance with which to throw those strikes. But Hume working well off his back, 10 second clapper. Short time now. There it is. Oh, big strike. There it is. Oh, big strike. That's strikes. what we're waiting for, and they stopped it. What a fight. The fight has ended. Time ran out. We have Nation. That was an absolutely phenomenal fight. Frankenstein, exultant, Adam Townsend, his face a mask of blood.
You think if we ask politely, we could get another round of that action? I'm sitting here. I've got blood on my phone. I've got blood on my computer. <laughs> I've got blood on my notes. These uh, are two warriors. What a fitting main event here at Brave 19. In beautiful South Africa, we have been treated to an absolute feast of face punching. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the very last time tonight, let's send it up to Carlos Give Kramer. it up, ladies and gentlemen, for both of these warriors in an incredible main event of the evening. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the same way. A unanimous decision victory for Mark Frankenstein!